Ani Buju. Hi in Ojibwe. Taking that sacred pause. Actually feeling the life force come in. And the relaxing relief of the out breath. Here we are. Not taking it for granted. This mysterious miracle. that we only recognize here and now. Hope you're doing good today. Very excited about uh, sharing with you a relatively new insight that in about four or five videos ago titled It's All Alive. I didn't realize I was talking about what anthropologists and philosophers call animism. Indigenous cultures don't refer to it as an animism. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's that word itself is is kind of like the scientific scientific um, bias just kind of labeling this numinous poetic revelatory experience of nature the waves at the ocean the moon at night a volcano, an earthquake, a thunderstorm, the green grass, all the animals and the plants doing their thing, them labeling the super rich, ex human, that's fundamentally human experience of that magic as being it's just like another thing, you know, oh, those animists, you know, those, uh, those kind of lesser, somewhat, you know, they don't really, they don't really get the world, world. they're just sort of, um, just superstitious. And it's such hubris because all of what I just described as what is the fundamental human worldview of life infused with life. Fairies, star beings, Homer, Virgil, the Celts, the Druids, the Aborigines, the Tungus shamans. <laughs> the idea that all of those people through 98% of human history got it all wrong and we scientists, we anthro, we scientific anthropologists uh, who know better, we've got it all right. You know, talk about arrogance. And likely, I wouldn't even be talking about this at all if it weren't for the fact that. <laughs> There's been so much destruction as a result of that hubris. We, we 
we who are listening to this desire balance with nature and that balance born out of oneness with nature. And truthfully, until we really get that, we're just going to keep treating the world as if it was a collection of yeah, objects just for human benefit. So again, I'm saying this in a different way, but I'm wanting to remind us, myself included, included that this so-called scientific materialism, this human apart, this lonely separate self view of the world it's deadly, it's lethal, and uh, there's great joy in uh, going, going back to the future.